Whatever charge you. Hello, senor. Here you are, Sam. Paint the sink for a leave. You know what I'm going to do as soon as we get on board, Sam? You're going to have yourself a beer. Yeah. A real cold one. With the bottle. Let's see if it's a senor. I'll take that, Sam. It's pretty heavy. Gracias, senor. the day look, Sam? Couldn't be better. Yeah, and I guess it is a pretty day, all right. Well, Captain Martin? You better put the ice on board, Harb, before it melts. Oh, uh, I'll just take the beer along, too, Sam. You know how Mr. Peterson is about warm beer. <laughs> I can't do it. I'd like to do it as a favor, but I told you last night I couldn't. You can name your own price. It isn't that. I just can't do it, that's all. Two thousand? <laughs> now, don't make me feel bad. I'm telling you the truth. I can't do it. Afterwards, when things are changed, it would mean a good deal for you. I make my living with that boat. If I lose her, I lose my living. You are on the other side, maybe. I don't care who's president here. I can't carry anything to Key West that can talk. You mean we would talk? I said anything that can talk. Do you know what a lengua larga is? Sure, it's one with a long tongue. Do you know what we do with him? Quiet, Carlos. You're not a lengua larga, are you? Don't be so tough so early in the morning. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I'm sure you've cut plenty of people's throats. So you're sure I've cut people's throats, huh? No, and I don't care. Come on, Carlos. I'm very sorry. I wish you could take us. I'm sorry, too. But even if I wanted to get mixed up in this mess, I couldn't. My boat's tied up. There's a man waiting for me to take him fishing. Están saquetos y arriba las manos. Manos arriba. Lengua corta, or vámonos. Why don't you throw him overboard? He's my mate, and he doesn't like water. Some mate. I was a good man with a boat once. Here he is! Again. Knock him hard. Hit him half a dozen times. He's up on the drag. There he's up on the drag. He's up on it. I told you to ease up on it. You pulled it right out of my hands. You shut down on the drag. I said ease up on it. I guess that's about enough for today. You know, we're, we're just unlucky this trip, Sam. I, I never seen anything like that in my life before. You, uh, you ain't, you ain't plugged at me, are you? No, not at you, Harv. Have yourself a beer. Not right now. 
Peterson might want to celebrate. You want a beer, Mr. Peterson? Head for Key West, Captain. What do you think I'm headed? Let's have the bad news. Ten days charter, you in to me for $925. That includes the rod, reel, and line from today. Now the tackle should be your risk. Not when you lose it that way. Well, the fish pulled it out of my hands. You hired a car and drove it off a cliff. Don't you think you'd have to pay for it? Not if I was in it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, Mr. Peterson. You see it, don't you, Sam? If he was in it, he would have got killed, so he wouldn't have to pay. <laughs> And if he'd hung on to that rod and drowned, he wouldn't have to pay either, but he didn't. So he's paying for it. I think I'm being reasonable. Well, I'll have to cash a check at the hotel. Meet me there at 6 o'clock, Tropicana. No hard feelings now, are there? 6 o'clock, then. I'll buy you a couple of drinks. 6 o'clock. Yeah. He met the both of us, didn't he, Sam? To my mate, Harv. Work yourself up a thirst. Talk to you, Sam. Come on already. Well, home is the sailor, home from the sea. Hi, Freddie. <laughs> well, it be. Bottle on the cuff, if there's room on the cuff. Put the sailor's drink on my cuff. You broke, sailor? I'll uh, put it on your charge account, Mr. Martin. Will you take it with you, or shall I have it delivered to your, your yacht club? Wrap it up, Freddie. I've got to get home. So he's a big man. What'd you run off for? Who's running besides you, Arnold? I got a good reason for running. How about you paying your bill while you still got something left to pay it with? My charter didn't pay me yet. When he pays, I pay. It's as simple as that. That's mighty simple. So when's that? Six o'clock. You won't starve to death by then. Where at six o'clock? I want to be there, Sam. I've been carrying you for three months. I'm not the only one you carry. Yeah? The others don't hang around the back room at Pops. Come on, Sam. Where at six o'clock? Can't go to the Tropicana Hotel looking like that. At least put on a clean shirt. And if you play cards right, the lady might buy you a drink. Big man, in what yacht club? at the front door waiting for me. I'm looking for my nightgown. You don't need a nightgown. A nightgown this time of day? What are you going to give, a style show? Oh, I found it. So hide it and come on out here. Oh, the faucet won't turn off the drips. Now, that's mean. That's real mean. I'm counting three, then I'm coming in after you. One. Two. Playing hard to get, huh? Well, where are the flowers? You always used to bring me flowers. I was wooing you then. Come here. What's your hurry? <laughs> oh, and a girl likes to be wooed. Start wooing. What for? You're hooked. All right, stop wooing. Come back here. What's that? Oh, it's just the front window. It keeps slipping. Hey, where are you going? I have to fix it, don't I? Fix it, then I'll fix that leaking faucet. Sam? You're right, the window slipped. Sam, you come right back here. I have to go out in the shed and get my tools. 
Will you come here? Don't you want me to fix the faucet? Now who's playing mean? When I married you, I married everything. Shaved. The whole side of my face feels raw. You complaining? No, only about my face. You didn't say anything about the trip. Well, I had something better to talk about. Anyway, you can have Mr. Peterson. Oh, I don't want him. I don't want anyone but you. That's nice. That's real nice. Oh, darling. Now, stop it. There's a man waiting with a pocket full of money. Then you better leave some of it with Cy Phillips. If you don't catch up on your back payments, he's going to take your boat away. You know, it's a good thing Mr. Peterson came along when he did. Or you'd be boatless. And womanless? No. That you'll never be. about Sam paying you, Arnold? Why, Sam ain't never gypped nobody in his whole life. Fine, so I'm make sure he don't break his record. I don't want to wake up in the morning and find him and his boat gone, me holding the sack. You sure ain't a very good judge of character, Arnold. Let me tell you something. A man can't do wrong if it ain't in him to do it. And it ain't in Sam to do wrong, and don't you forget it. Who wound you up? No, it's different with you. Look at the way you pump gas. You saying maybe I short weight people, huh? Well, don't you? I got a notion to open you up and drain some of that cheap sherry out of you. Now, wait a minute. And nobody calls me a wino and gets away with it. Nobody but Sam, that is, and I... Oh, hello, Sam. You took a bath. You must want your money real bad. I do. Where is it? Peterson didn't check out, did he? Of course he didn't check out. You know, uh... We could be waiting in the bar. You got any money, Arnold? We'll pay you back. I don't drink. And I don't gamble. Why don't we take our business somewhere else, Sam? A little late, Mr. Peterson. You cash that check yet? A slight misunderstanding. Over a couple of other checks. But Mr. Sorry, Peterson, we're taking them to the police station. This guy owes me almost $1,000. You're not the only one he owes. He's been bouncing checks like they were ping pong balls. But I gotta have that money. Oh, well, come down to the station and take your place in line. It'll be a long one. Sorry about the rod, Captain. Yeah. You should have held on to it. My Arnold a drink, huh? Looks like he needs it. Well, I'll be seeing you, Arnold. Sam, how come? You ought to be loaded. It's a sad story, Pop. I'll spare you the details. <laughs> I wish all my customers was as thoughtful of my feelings, Sam. Twenty dollars. Maybe I better tell you my story. Don't, don't, Sam. When I'm sad, the price goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. I'll redeem that on my way out. I hope. Good luck.
Same shooter looking for a six. Come on, six! Three! With cold women, I always play the field. Seven, the loser. Two shooter coming Give out. Give me those dice. I feel lucky. Hey, watch out for this character. He wants to win. Who doesn't? Say, Sam, I don't like this at all. I don't like it either, Sam. Come on, come on. Let a real shooter have these dice. No pass. Sam, you think it's right to gamble? You haven't made a payment on your boat in over three months now. Twenty bucks I got for hockey to real make you happy, Sam. You haven't got the twenty bucks now. Sam, I'm going to have to take your boat. What would you do with it? You've got a yard full of boats. The Lucium's fast. I can find a buyer easy. Oh, that's right. Kick a man when he's down. That's not like that. How are you, Sam? All right, Sam. I don't want your boat, you know that. But I've got bills to pay, too. I'll wait, but not much longer. Ten hard What's his point? What do you do besides put your dough in the wrong places? Take people fishing? Well, that sounds like fun. It is. You're lucky. Get your bets down. Watch your hands. That was my luck. Maybe I ought to try it sometime. Yeah. Hi, Skipper. Hi there. Say, hey, how'd you make out last night? Good, good. Like I always make out. I feel like fishing. What's the tariff? 75 a day. You pay for the bait and rods extra, also food and drink. You're stealing. Just a little. We're going to hit it off. My name is Hannigan. And, Skipper, I'm an old sea dog who likes to eat and drink. You got plenty of salt horse and grog aboard? There will be, as soon as you put up a deposit. Is that customary? Yeah. In case your charter falls overboard. I do it. Wake up, Harry. We got a charter. Yeah, well, that's fine, Sam. Oh, that's just fine. For food, bait, beer, and ice. Come right back. You, you said beer, didn't you, Sam? I also said food and bait. I get going. You, you didn't say wine, did you? One jug. Keep the cork in it to get aboard. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Do I pay for him, too? Nope, I throw him in. Eva. There's Sam Martin. He's our skipper. There's Eva Wallstrom. Hello, Fisker. There's a life, eh, baby? Oh, my father was the keeper of the Eddie Stone light. Married a mermaid one fine night. From this union there came three. A porgy and a porpoise and the other was me. Ho, 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 the wind blows free. Ho, for the life on the rolling sea. Salty, huh? You know the words? I don't even recognize the two. Hello, Fisker. That's where you came in. What's a Fisker? Fisherman. Oh. I burn easy. You, Sam? I'm used to it. I never get used to it. We only get three months of sun in Sweden, where I come from. You're a long way from home. I've been a long way from home most of my life. Keeps them soft. No lines, no worries. The outdoor life must agree with you. 
But is it any fun? All right, sugar, don't heckle a driver. You want us to go off the road? You better hang on to that rod. I'm tired fishing. And reel in, we'll turn back. Oh, there's no rule says a man has to fish. Something else he'd rather do, is there? The boat ride's all you want, sorry, with me. You're paying. That isn't all I want. You know what I mean? Maybe you should have chartered a yacht. Then you'd have a little privacy. Well, maybe I should have. But I didn't. Look, Skipper, ought to be someplace we can go ashore and get away from people. Havana. You know, I've never been to Havana. Havana's in Cuba, Mr. Hannigan. Yeah, I've seen a map. You need a clearance for Cuba. I haven't got one. Troll spots me, I lose my boat. Oh, they don't have to spot you. Cubans are a lot more particular now than they used to be, especially about boats. Is that so? Don't you read the papers? It's a revolution on. Stop every boat coming into Havana Harbor. Look, Skipper, Cuba's a big island. This is a little boat. Gotta be someplace we can land. Well, there's Puerto Bello. It's about 10 miles up the coast, but I'd have to go in after dark and out before daylight. Well, give us a night in Havana. What do you say? For a little extra, I might risk it. How much is a little, Skipper? Two fifty when I take you in. Two fifty when I bring you up. That's a lot for a night in Havana. It's up to you. What would you say? got the kind of money to say. Well, when you got it, arithmetic changes. It's a deal? Follow that music, you'll find a taxi. How do I tell a driver where to go? Just show him some money. That way they all understand English. Aren't you coming with us? The skipper's seen Havana. Uh, you better not try to see too much of it. I'm sailing at 2 a.m. whether you're here or not. By 2 a.m. I'll have seen all I want to see. I took a trip, I took a trip, I took a trip across the sea. Took a trip down to Havana just to see what I could see. And I smiled to see Havana, and Havana smiled at me. I took a trip, I took a trip, I took a trip to get away. Took a trip to see the tropics when I landed in the bay. Took a way to see Havana where the turn I did today. Just one trip across the ocean, there's the MA. Six, work and play the mix. Take a trip across the ocean down Havana way. We'll get your kicks if you nine or six feet. So take a trip, go take a trip, go take a trip across the sea. Take a trip to see Havana, when you see what you can see. You'll be tripping to Havana, just one trip across the sea. Hey! 
looking for me, Miss Scott? All over town. Where's Hopper? Seeing Havana. That's what he came to do. Why isn't he with you? His idea of fun isn't the same as mine. Sit down. Rum's very good here. It's after three. I told him I had to clear out by two. Why didn't you, Sam? He's got another 250 bucks coming. Then wait for it. You better sit down before they put a table cloth on you. Rum and go. The same. Put my left off. Just what do you like? What do you do for fun, Sam? What's Papa doing tonight for fun, sweetie? Oh, you're like everyone else. You take the money and then you begin to wonder. Didn't you ask yourself any questions when he offered you the money? I thought I had the answers. <laughs> you weren't very practical. Well, I'm being practical now. Tell him to take the plane. Don't run away. You haven't even had your drink. Hey, Mazzetto! <laughs> One trip across the ocean, USA. I got a question, Sam. You're a fisherman. What do you use for bait? Depends on what you want to catch. What do you use to catch marlin? Jackfish. What do you use to catch Sam Martin? Oh, you have such a baby face. Are you a baby or is it just a baby face? You better go find Papa. What for? I'm lonely. I've got a girl, sweet. My wife. And that's real bad news. Tell me about it. Nothing for mixed company. You got something for me, we're something together. For us, everything else. Have you tried? I don't want to try, sweet. But you'd better find Papa. I'm shoving off in an hour. can supply us with this, Pepito. Oh, you got me, amigo. <laughs> You're a funny man. Are your prices funny too, funny men? These gentlemen aren't laughing. No, we're not laughing. Pepito, this Meister is a good gun. Mm -hmm. You have none of the others? Browning's 30s and 50s, Thompson's, M1's, Rising's, you name them, we got them. At what price? It ain't wholesale. Whatever it is, Pepito, we must pay it. Yeah, your revolutions cost money. And lives, funny man. Hey, which guns do you prefer, Captain? Any I can get, all I can get. These and the Thompsons weigh the least. You can get more of these on the boat. All right. But now and then they send tanks into the hills after us. You want a bazooka, Captain? A thousand dollars a piece. A thousand? And the Schmeisses and Thompsons. Five hundred dollars each, 25 cents a round for ammunition. I told you it wasn't wholesale. I see you do no business with this gangster. I don't mean to buy it. We need the guns. Please, when do we get them? When do I get the money? Ten thousand now. The rest when you deliver the guns. You don't trust me. The rest is a great deal of money, Mr. Hannigan. Where do I land them? Carlos will come to you in Key West as soon as we can arrange it. Now, one boat comes out to meet me. Remember that, just one boat. You don't get a single gun until the rest of the money is in my hands. You can keep the sample. I bet you got rhythm, baby. We both got rhythm. You're a cute kid. Señor, sus credenciales, por favor. No, savvy, uh, Spanish. Uh, I see your papers, please. Uh, 
No, no, I, I see your papers. Your papers. that stuff. Aquavit. Maybe it never goes anywhere without a bottle of it. Makes things look better than they are. Then I'll have another drink. Oh, you're not upset, are you? Have I got something to be upset about? Relax. You haven't had so much fun in a long time. Yeah. We'll have to do this again real soon. Just for the laughs. That's what I like about him. He said for you were. You better have another drink, Sam. No, thanks. I don't need it. I'm real happy. But I'd be a lot happier if I knew what I was mixed up in. Just working. That's a 
Good boy. I like him. Come on. to be home waiting for me. Well, I got to be 11, so I got up. Oh, you're all salt and whiskers. Would you mind? Saving. What do you think I've been doing? Saving it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what I'd give to look like her. You've got your points. And this line means there's a tall, very extremely handsome man coming into your life with glasses, and he's wearing a gray suede face and a yachting cap. <laughs> you, hey, Baldy, you better hide your cup. Ah, <laughs> uh, hiya, Captain. Hey, uh, who's the dame? Something I found on the beach. Take a booth, will you? I don't want anyone to know I'm cheating on my wife. There's a crummy place to take a lady. You don't like it? Pick up somebody else. What, this early in the day? No one worth picking up. Who look at a bag like you? You did. So what does that prove? It proves that your wife must be a real witch. So she's a real witch, so I'm stuck with her. Now, you listen here, Martin. Your wife is a fine, upstanding young woman. How do you know? You've been trifling with her. What's trifling? Get in that booth over there and pull the curtain, and I'll show you. <laughs> How much do I owe you? I see it's uh, forty-eight bucks. Give the rest to Arnold for the gas, will you? Ah, luck must have changed. What are you in the broad drinking? It's on the house. Hey, Toots, what are we drinking? How about some boilermakers, sailor? And hurry him up. I want to be trifled with. Oh, I wish I was a man. I'll lay you seven to five. You don't make it. What did you say? So that's what trifling is. Mm-hmm. Why didn't we meet sooner? If we had, I'd be in jail for contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Well, I was a minor when you met me. We're not. You were 12. Oh. <coughs> Pardon me, folks. Warm up the jukebox, will you, Freddy? Sure. Trifling with me? Mm-hmm. I always will. I just wanted to hear you say it. Oh, that dear, dear face. You better like it, because I'm stuck with it. I haven't got much else. You got a lot else. I was talking about the worldly goods I was supposed to be endow. You the endowed me with something a whole lot better. What? Love. You want some of it right now? Mm. <laughs> After this dance, sailor boy. <laughs> Chief, what's up? Commander Walsh wants to see you. Why? The commander will tell you. Can't you? That's the way the commander wants it. I'd come right down if I were you. I 
Got a couple of things to finish first. This dance and a boiler maker. We'll wait for you in the station later. Something wrong? Maybe I missed a clearance somewhere. You know how the Coast Guard is. Well, don't let it be anything like, like real trouble. Oh, if I were in real trouble, you'd walk out on me, huh? If you were in real trouble, I wouldn't know where to walk to. Pretty good, you? Well, I'm trying. What's going on? No idea. Who's Walsh got in there? Your mate. Maybe he forgot to declare the load he's carrying. They wouldn't have to declare it. They could smell it a mile away. I don't see why you look after him, Sam. He thinks he's looking after me. <laughs> Sure glad you're here. <laughs> uh, what uh, what do they want with me? What did they ask you? I mean, uh, we weren't in Cuba, were we, Sam? When? When? I don't know. I guess they met this last charter. Oh, hi, Cass. Hi, uh, 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 what were we, Sam? You know we weren't. Oh, sure. I know we weren't. Where did we go? Straight out. Well, then why'd they ask me if we was in Cuba? I tell you, the way they run this government, I wish I could get to run it for one week, for just one little week. That's all we need now. Yep, yep, that's what we need. Is Mr. Martin there? Yes, sir. Send him in. Mr. Martin. Oh, uh, Sam, you, uh... You wouldn't have an extra four bits on you, would you? Don't open it to get home. Well, hi, Sam. Sit down. Lucy's waiting for me over at Freddy's. She doesn't like to drink alone. <laughs> Can't say the same about Harvey. He has me a little confused. Just where did you go? Straight out. <laughs> On a boat or a cloud, or did you walk? Harvey wasn't sure. And he wasn't sure just who else was along. I'd tell him sure about anything. Who'd you take out, Sam? A sportsman and a blonde. Name of? A sportsman and a blonde don't give you the right names. Well, that's kind of a charter, huh? Just wanted to go straight out. They fished some. Anything else you want to know, Commander? Anything else I should know? Like what? A cabin cruiser went over to Cuba last night. Put in at Puerto Bello. Puerto Bello's no place to take a sportsman and a blonde. It sure isn't these days. Unless they have business in Havana and don't want people asking questions. It lets my sportsman out. The only one who want to ask him questions is his wife. So it wasn't your boat? 37-foot colonial craft, Lucy M, Key West. Well, they didn't see it that close up. Next time you want to go fishing, Commander, let's do it out in the Gulf. Okay, Sam, sorry to drag you down here, but two men were killed last night in Portobello. One of them was a Cuban soldier. Lucy! Hi! Why didn't you wait? I said I wouldn't be long. All the fun went out of Freddy's with you. All right, let's have it. Good or bad? What's it all about? What makes you think it's about anything? Oh, your face is showing. Come on, give. All right. A boat went over to Cuba last night. Two guys got killed. One was a Cuban soldier. Now you know why I was on the dock this morning. I could smell trouble. All night I could smell it and feel it. It came in on the wind off the Gulf. I didn't know about the killing until I heard it from the Coast Guard. Do they know you went to Cuba? I lied to them. Who'd believe the truth that I had nothing to do with it? Don't press your luck, Sam. You're my world with a fence around it. From here on, I'll look the bait over and make sure there's no hook in it. Look close, darling. 
You think I want to sleep alone? That's what they make you do in jail. Now getting the smell of you two off my boat. It isn't that easy, Sam. Why did you go to Cuba, sweet? You didn't have to. I didn't notice anyone twisting your arm. I needed the money. So did I. And Papa needed a front. Who'd buy a man out fishing suddenly wanting to go to Havana? But it was me along. Nice front. So, come on, I'll buy you a drink. No, thanks. Someone might come along and hire me for a day's fishing. You are hired. Oh, not by me, by Hannigan. He has another deal for you. Who gets killed this time? He didn't tell me. What else didn't he tell you, sweet? Such as? What he's up to, who's in with him. <laughs> Maybe this time you'd better ask him before you take his money. He's waiting for you, Sam. Tropicana, Suite 1101. He lives high. Too high for me. How high could you live without your boat? Spell it out, sweet. Papa bought the paper on your boat from a man named Phillips. He can take it away from you anytime he wants. I'm sorry. I really am sorry about the mess you're in. But you'd have to find your own way out. If you ever find it. Let me know. Hey, hey. Papa is in that much of a hurry. You're smart to use that, Si. No chance of cutting your own throat. What's eating you? What do you think? My boat. You sold the paper on it. Well, sure I sold it. To a friend of yours. Hannigan. I thought I was doing you a favor. Fine favor. You put me out of business. Now call him up and tell him the deal's off. Well, I can't do that, Sam. It's too late. I took his money. You got this all wrong. He likes you. He told me himself how much he likes you. Yeah. He likes me. Uh, Sam, you're not sore at me, are you? You got this all wrong. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, it'll be. What's the lady drinking? Uh, you believe her. Can you give me a straight whiskey? May as well leave the bottle. Well, that's how it is, huh? That's how it is. Well, everybody's got their troubles, Sam. Now you look at me. One Sunday morning, I wake up, my wife's looking at me. She says, I can't stand bald guys. And that's the last I see of her, after 12 years. <laughs> no woman has a right mind to be married to you for 12 years. Have you got any knockout drops? On her, they don't work. Make it a double, Baldy. No, no, no. Think you got troubles? You could be married to that. Now you've cheered me up. I think I'll go home. Say, there's, there's a fella, Sam, a deputy down at the boat. Hello, Freddy. Hiya, hi. Hi. He, uh, he's got a paper. He's waiting for you. Hey, don't go, dream man. Hey, you a friend of his? Yeah, you, uh, you might say I'm the best friend he's got in the world. <laughs> uh, he's beautiful. <laughs> I heard him call a lot of things I never heard him call that. Well, who asked you? And where's that drink that I ordered? Well, it's right there. I just... Hey, you, come here. What are you... Hmm. Martin? Yeah. Foreclosure. I'm sorry, Cap. I know how much a boat can mean to a guy, but I got a job to do. I'll have to ask you for your keys.
What are we going to do now, Sam? I don't know, Art. But I'm not going to lose my boat. <laughs> no, Sam. I didn't even bother putting it in the window. <laughs> well, you can put it in the window now. Pop, I need $2,000. For in there? No, my boat. For, for $2,000, you come to the wrong place, Sam. Y you go to a bank for $2,000. A bank wants security, Pop. You've been burning yourself up, keeping your boat ever since you got out of the Navy. It's dragging you down, just, just trying to hang on to it. Howdy, it... Pop. Hello. There ain't no money taking slobs fishing. I like taking slobs fishing. So maybe it's better you lose your boat. All I know is boats. I didn't come here for advice, Pop. I need the money. All anybody ever gets from me over a hundred dollars is advice. And, and, and then they gotta have something to pawn. <laughs> Without my boat, I'm nothing. I'm sorry, Sam. What are you thinking about? I'm not losing my boat, Lucy. All right. Now that that's settled, let's get some sleep. Where's Papa? Waiting for you. Do you always have breakfast in bed? Oh, as often as I can. And you'd be surprised how often I can. About that paper on my boat. How's the weather? Give me the phone. I'll call up the Coast Guard and find out. <coughs> you already talked to them. Eva, get rid of this, will you? Girl. Trainer yourself? No, this one came housebroken. Don't you want to know what I said to the Coast Guard? You're here, and I'm here, having breakfast in bed. I can fix that. I would like you if you do, and you'll never get your boat back. Sam, how do you keep your weight down? How do I keep my boat? You do something for me. If it's Cuba, I've worn out my welcome. So have you. Yeah. You and I won't go ashore this trip, and there won't be any shooting. Just a pleasure trip. No. Yeah. And you get your boat back, and five grand. You're mighty generous this morning. <laughs> it's not my money. You get the paper on your boat when we start, and five grand when the job is finished. What do you say? All right. Good. Uh, can you run the boat alone? I don't want that rummy mate of yours along on this trip. If it's that kind of a trip, neither do I. He's got enough troubles. Sure, I can run it alone. How soon can you go out? As soon as I get my keys back, I'll have to gas up. And gas costs money. This ought to take care of the gas. Tell me one thing. Is there anyone you can't buy? They're in their graves, the ones you can't buy. With the right price, you can buy anybody for anything. Some easier than others.
How do you rate me, Hannigan? Well, you went so hard, Sammy boy. How does he rate you, Sweden? About the same as you. That easy? You go to a lot of unnecessary work. It was all dusty. Well? I got her back. Any strings? Two or three. Hurry up, will you? I have to get my gear. How long this time? Three days. So I won't sleep much for three nights. You'll sleep a lot more than if I were home. I sleep a lot better if you tell me what the strings are. Sam! Sam! Arnold said you gassed up and you're shoving right off. How much bait should I get, Sam? You know, we're going to catch a lot of fish this time because I've been talking to people and I know where to go, Sam. How are you, Miss Martin? Getting ready to be lonely? How are you, Harvey? Oh, I can't sleep. How much bait, Sam? It's the board, Harv. We could use some heavy line to replace what that guy Peterson lost. Uh, get some from Wilcox, will you? You want me to go all the way to Wilcox, Sam? He's the only one has got heavy line. Well, I thought you said we were shoving right off. No, no, no. There's, there's plenty of time. Well, they, say, that, that's $20, Sam. You're in good shape today. You can count. Stay that way, Harvey. Oh, sure, sure, Miss Martin. You know me. <laughs> heavy line. Yeah. I mean it, Harvey. All right, Sam. All right what? You know all right what. He'll get drunk, he won't show up. That's what you want. Okay. Getting rid of him is one of the strings. The people I'm taking out don't want him along. Same people? Same people. Cuba again. That's another one of the strings. They have to pick on you. I had my hand out, Lucy. Well, can't you get out of it? You and your face. Get your gear. Last time you went to Cuba, two men were killed. I want that face back, Sam Martin.
Sam boy? Yeah, just making sure. Sam, this is Carlos Contreras. Carlos and I have met. Huh. Small world. And a funny one. Finding you two in the same bed. You were not in the same bed, too? Yeah, sure, I'm in the same bed. Keep your knife in your pocket and get below. You better jump aboard, sweet. I'm not going. Papa doesn't need a front this time. And he's expecting bad weather. Uh, what does that mean? Happy voyage, fisherman. Thanks. The way you say it, I guess I'll need what's in that bottle. When they buy you for something, they buy you for everything. For luck. So long, sweet. Same place? No. Boot key. Only don't go until after dark. Staying here? Just long enough to pick up a couple of guys. And some ballast. That's the word, isn't it? Where do we go then? I tell you where when I get ready. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, you're taking care of me, all right. I've got to talk to you, Sam. We're in trouble, ain't we? And don't make it any worse. Stay in there till I tell you to come out. Start. Come on, snap it up. Something funny? What's going on? Take his gun. He scares me. It's okay. He checks the compass. You 
tell them why, Carlos. We carry many guns. They change the needle so we're north as you can't tell. So you go around and find out. Oh. <laughs> Imagine an old sea dog like me not knowing that. I'll let him alone. He knows what he's doing. You better? What is somebody going to tell me the course? Yeah. Well, how about it, Carlos? There's a little harbor here, the fishermen use. Kibara. Kibara, huh? Kibara. So what's the course? The course are you on now? 225. That is for Havana. We go east, 126. You learned so much about boats. Before I'm a revolutionary, I was a fisherman. When this is over, I will be a fisherman again. When this is over, let's hope we'll both be fishermen again. After this, don't stop unless I tell you to. So ballast was the right word for what we're carrying. Guns are dangerous. Nobody gets killed this way. Nobody but us when we deliver these boxes of junk. We never intended to deliver them. They're just window dressing it to get Carlos to tell us where to meet the guy with the dough. He borrowed. What about Carlos? Won't they ask questions? Oh, then we'll get a chance. That's where you come in. When that boat pulls up alongside, you see that money handed over. <laughs> you get us out of there fast. Now, you're going to do it real fast, aren't you, Cappy? Because you know I'll be standing right behind you. Stop breathing down my neck. You make me nervous. Stop making him nervous. <laughs> Sammy's my boy. Woody, make us up some sandwiches. Here, peanut butter and jelly. Is that for you? Just a beer. Just a beer. And wash your hands. Get back in that 
I told you not to bring him. You cross me up and stay sober. Get out of the way. You're not killing my mate. I said get out of the way. Look, he's a wino. Give him a jug. He won't bother anyone. Yeah. I know all about you. I know who you are and what you're doing. He'll shoot off his mouth the minute we get to Ybarra. I tell you, you can trust him. He went to Portobello with us and he didn't tell the Coast Guard a thing. He didn't know anything. He slept all the way to Portobello. Yeah, that's right. I was asleep all the time. Sam, I don't want to have to kill you two. Now get out of the way. Kill him and nobody goes anywhere. You want to die too, Cappy? Who's going to take you across? None of you know how to run a boat, read a chart, or set a compass. You can do it, can't you? Sure he can. He's an old salt. Go ahead, sing for them, Mr. Hannigan. Put him in the hatch. And if he shows his face, blow his head off. Now get him. <laughs> Uh, stay in there unless you want your head blown off. But Sam, I'm heading north for Andros Island. When I cut the switches, go overboard. Come on, let's get out of here. When they buy you for something, they buy you for everything. How's that? An old Swedish saying. Looks like some loose wiring. I'll have to check the engine. He can talk. Keep going. 
Keep going, keep going. We're getting closer. A little closer and I can nail him. Okay, okay, a few more yards and I can get him. To you. Are you. Are you hurt bad, Sam? I'm all right, Harvey. You, you, you just get that wheel and head us back to Key West. All right, Sam. What, whatever you say. Are you. You just don't worry about a thing. I knew you couldn't do it, Sam. I knew it. You know why? Because, like I told Arnold, a man can't go bad if it ain't in him to go bad. And it ain't in you, Sam. Even if you try to. Are you, are you sure you're all right? Just get me home to Lucy. <laughs> 